Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This particular prophetic word says, these people are in serious trouble because of you. I say it again. This particular prophetic word says, these people are in serious trouble because of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, if you want to send me a prayer request, kindly use my email, get to my about, and then use my email to send me a prayer request. Please do not go to my website. It's very easy if you can send me a prayer request through my email. God bless you for that. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I've been seeing some people doing that through my website and obedience is better than sacrifice. I want to say probably they did not or they've not been watching the these prophetic words and all of that, you know, I don't know and I don't understand very really. well. I pray that the message gets to you. So you can have the right answer, but the wrong approach. You see, if this is just a normal example about life. You can have the right answer, but the wrong approach. You can have a prayer request that somebody is ready to pray for you. And then you sent it through the wrong means. And maybe it doesn't even reach out or reaches the person. So, we live in a generation whereby you don't just want to act, but you want to act the right way. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right. So um, the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Now, I want you to understand these particular scriptures. A lot of people quote these particular scriptures in reference to prophets or to servants of God. The first thing I like us to understand is that everybody is a servant of God. You are a servant of God. I am a servant of God. And we all are servants of God. That is the first thing I'd like us to understand. Now, when you settle that in your mind and in your spirit and in your heart, you'll be in a better position and you'll be in a better place. Each and every one of us carries the name of God. Mm. Yes, I said it. Each and every one of us, we carry the name of God. Now, what do we carry? There is somebody who is called man of God. There is another person who is called woman of God. There is another person who is called child of God. There are others who are called people of God. So my dear people of God, we all carry God's name and we all are servants of God. A servant of God is not limited to who is preaching the gospel or doing word, but a servant of God is who God has placed his mark, God has placed his purpose, God has placed his assignment and God has placed his name on. In each and every one of us carries the name of God. We carry the identity, we carry the character, and we carry everything. The Bible says, I have said, ye are gods and are children of the Most High. But the Bible says, in the later on, the Bible says, but ye shall die like men, men, because ye know not. Ignorance is what has killed a lot of people. Now, let me quote it again, just in case you did not hear me rightly. The Bible says, ye are gods and are children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men because ye know not. So ignorance has killed a lot of people because we do not know our identity. We do not know who we are. These people are in serious trouble because of you. They are in serious trouble because they try to attack you. They are in serious trouble because they try to, uh, to harm you. They are in serious trouble because they wanted you to go down. So the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Honey, you are God's anointed. 
You are the anointed of God. His grace is upon you. His anointing is upon you. His purpose is upon you. God has placed his identity. Everything that has to do with God is upon you and is in your life. Somebody tried to touch you. Somebody tried to attack you. Somebody tried to put you into a place of betrayal and disappointment. But the Lord replied to them. He chose to reply them for your sake. Right now, they're battling with a lot. They are going through a lot right now. God wants to put your enemies in the place whereby the next time they are sent or they are asked to touch you, they will never even want to. The next time a thought comes to their minds to come and attack you, they will bind and they will cast it. They will bind and they will cast it. God has preserved you. The Bible says he who keeps Israel neither sleeps nor slumbers. Right now your enemies are in big trouble. They're in big trouble because of you. There are people whom the Lord will take his anger upon them, his wrath upon them, the moment they start wanting to touch you or to play with you. Somebody put your hand on your chest. Say, I am God's anointed. Say, I am under protection. Say it again. Put your hand on your chest. Say, I am God's anointed. I am under protection. For the last time, say it again, somebody. Say, I am God's anointed. I am under protection. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. No weapon form against you shall prosper. You are preserved and protected in Jesus' name. Amen. Please do not forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you to pray for me. If these have been of great blessings to you, always pray for me, please. I always love it. I always love to beg people for prayers. I believe in prayers so much. And also, please do not forget to share this amazing video to as many people as possible. Share the video. Let it go viral to people who can be blessed. You know, I I want to make a I want to make a. a Oh, I want to make it in such a way that I can be praying for my sharers. People who are sharing the videos, people who are sharing these are people who are supporting the gospel and saying, Pastor, we're supporting your ministry by sharing. I want to make it in such a way that I want to be praying for the sharers. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please don't forget to share, subscribe. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace, the shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much, I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.